The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. So we're staying dry right now and that's how we're going to be through a lot of this evening through tomorrow morning. But as we get towards Thursday afternoon, more rain is headed our direction. So if you want to get some grocery shopping done, head outside for a bike ride. You got some time for it. Just try not to wait until kind of late on Thursday. Clouds are going to stick with us through a good portion of the evening. By midnight, we're mostly cloudy and we stay pretty cloudy going through sunrise on Thursday. By 6 a.m. There are some showers in West Virginia, but it takes a few hours for it to really come to us by 11, the NRV and Highlands have got some fairly consistent rain and that spreads further towards the east as the day goes on. Now, by 3 p.m., we technically have more aerial coverage, but the actual rainfall rates are lower. A lot more greens showing up than yellows and oranges, so not too bad to get around in that first and middle part of the afternoon. Kind of stays like that until 10 p.m. Even at 10, we get a little bit of a break in the rain. Doesn't last long. By 2 a.m., the bulk of the rain is coming through. Now, this same system is going to bring some storms to our west. By the time it gets here, we'll have some heavy be rain. We might get a rumble of thunder, but a lot of the intensity is much less than what is going to occur, especially as it travels through Illinois and Indiana and then states further south in that northern line as well. We do have some heavy rain at about 5 a.m. on Friday. Yellows, oranges, even a couple reds showing up in south side. Then it starts to ease off. By 10 a.m., we're mostly done with that rain, and we even start to get some sunshine coming in behind it. As far as rain totals go, the Highlands gets most of the rain for the longest amount of time, so it tops out at almost one and a half inches. The NRV is not too far off, but it still is not quite nearing the Highlands total, only getting to nine tenths of an inch, and then staying a little bit closer to half in Roanoke, Lynchburg, and then south side coming in at just a little bit below a half an inch for the rain totals from both days. Tomorrow there is a breeze that picks up as the rain starts to get going. That is going to stay fairly light. Winds at 10 miles per hour with gust 20, so not as bad as winds that we've seen in the last couple of weeks. But be aware if you are out, not only do you have the rain to contend with, but the wind throughout a lot of the afternoon. Rain's going to take a break for Saturday and Sunday, and then our temperatures are going to start to rise back up. Monday brings a few more showers, but even as that next round comes, we still have some heat headed our way. So expect more temperatures at least somewhat close to today that as we get into next week compared to what we're going to have for the next few days. Tonight we fall down to the 50s, really not losing much heat. Pulaski at 51, Covington at 49, and Alta Vista at 54. And then we warm up really nicely on Thursday. Again, Roanoke at 69, Pulaski 65, Lexington at 69, even a few 70s still towards the east. But we're going to drop down on Friday. More highs in the 50s there. And Saturday, we're even further into the 50s. Again, still above average, but not quite as high. Warming up into the 60s with some showers, especially cloudy skies on Tuesday and on Wednesday, and those will keep us raining with lows in the 40s.